So my name is Chanel Lowe and I won the National Photographic Portrait Prize in 2013 with my portrait of Yuani and Indiana. I feel comfortable saying that prior to winning the, the prize, I, I was basically nobody, you know, I was, I was completely obscure. I was just doing my own thing. And after winning and the crazy media frenzy basically that happened afterwards, uh, I was getting recognized on the street. <laughs> I started working with Yuani through Diane Tanza Gallery and she approached me one night and just said, look, my, my cat has been really unwell and she's been at the vet and I don't think she has long to go. So could you come around and take a portrait of us together before, you know, before it's too late? I love portraiture and I like to capture a person in sort of a moment of time. And I like that portrait to have a real sense of that person and, and of our interaction together as well. So the day that I found out that I'd won, I was actually getting ready to come up to Canberra. I generally treat myself to about one haircut a year. The rest of the time I do it myself. So I was up the road last minute. I was like, no, I should look nice. I should look nice. The Prime Minister's gonna be there. I should look nice. And I was having my hair washed and I got the phone call and I was just sort of was like, I don't know what this number is. I'll, I'll answer it just in case. And I started crying <laughs> pretty much straight away into the basin. And the woman washing my hair was just like, are you okay? And she's like, did I get shampoo in your eyes? I'm like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I just found out that I, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's really hard to actually describe fully how much of an impact this has had on my life. It basically changed it completely. And and you just need to keep that in mind every day and just kind of go, no, this is, don't stop because you're tired or whatever it is. Like, you just, you just have to keep doing it because you enjoy it. You could be doing so many other things right now. You could be working in a, you could still be selling games <laughs> at EP Games. I could be still working in the back of a bakery, you know, just not enjoying myself. But this is what I get to do now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going at it and try not to stop. Thank you.